I'm about 800 yards west of one of my favorite public land hunting spots. And a lot of times what I'll do in these different areas, I'll come in and play the process of elimination game. I scout pretty much all year round. I spend a lot of time in the summer. I'll start from one of my favorite hunting spots and I'll work my way one direction or another, scouting all the adjacent areas in that public land spot. I call it grid scouting. I'll scout the area next to that prime spot and then just keep moving down the line. I'll square off a bunch of sections of public land and it never ends. So as I'm scouting throughout the summer, I like to really get to know these public land areas so I can get an idea whether or not there's other hunting pressure in there. Because you never know what you're gonna run into. So it's always good to really get to know your public land spot. found ourselves a doe. That's been here a while. Bones everywhere. It almost seems like when you're scouting your way in on public land in certain areas, you run into so many unexpected things. And that's not necessarily a good thing. And a lot of times when you scout your way into certain areas in public land, You'll run into trail cameras, tree stands, pretty orange ribbons all over the place. And it just gets aggravating sometimes. You know, that's part of the game. And then you gotta move on to another spot. But it's one of the reasons I like to really get to know public land areas. Here's a perfect example. It's a pine tree with the Hang on, stand in it. That uh, looks pretty old, doesn't look like it's been used for a while. Now, look at all the branches they cut out of this tree. Oh, oh there's another one. These stems look like they've been in here for a while. They haven't been used for a long time. Now they're not supposed to be in here. And they're really not supposed to be cutting these branches. Like this one. I'm cutting off these big giant branches. Yeah, those have been here a while. Another reason I like to get my scouting in early. I'm trying to figure out why they would even place these tree stands here to begin with. Because where they're located, right in the back here, about 30 yards along this point, it's all bedding. It's absolutely too close to bedding. This would be an absolute horror to try to get in here and not blow everything out of the spot. Just to access these tree stands, you couldn't come blowing through the south side because it's all bedding over there. So you'd have to go way out around and you can come up the back side, but it's still too close to bedding. As soon as you get up around that back side here, you're only 40 yards from bedding. Anyway, that's the kind of stuff you run into on public land. Well, it doesn't always go as planned when you're out scouting. Sometimes you find good sign, sometimes you don't find good sign. Just keep moving on to the next spot. Keep looking for sign. I'd rather know more than less what I'm getting into when I'm scouting this public land. The more I know, the better. And it takes a lot of the guessing out of it. <laughs>